What are your thoughts on Andrew Tate? So Andrew Tate took the world by storm over the last couple of years, putting out all this content about, you know, basically being an alpha male, if you want to simplify it. Now, what happened was he came in with such a splash that it offended a lot of people because you see all this content and he's saying these sort of crazy things. And that's how he started to really come up. People were like, oh my God, who is this guy saying this stuff? And then I think he sort of layered in a lot of things that make a lot of sense for sure. Some of his content that you see, he's just making too much sense, okay? Here is my opinion on Andrew Tate. I think he has some very, very solid views on what it means to be a man, what it means to be a provider, what it means to be free as a human being with freedom, and uh, he has a lot of good takes on uh, politics. I mean, he has a unique situation with that. He was in jail recently, and, you know, you'll see these uh, headlines come out like Andrew Tate in, in jail for you know, abuse, basically, sex trafficking. And then obviously you look a little bit into it and you're like, there's no charges here. What, what is going on? So that's very interesting to me that he was uh, put in jail for something that when you actually look into it, not a lot of charges there. However, what I will also say is personally, I don't think this guy used to be a good guy. I don't know about now. But all the stuff with managing the OnlyFans models and some of the stuff he did there, that's just like, it's kind of weird, bro. Like if one of my friends got into that and they're like, yeah, I have a stable of like, you know, 90 women and I hit some of them with belts and uh, they, they pay me, you know, 50% of their earnings and I, I yell at them. Like th that's legit what he was doing. That's okay. You know, I mean, it is what it is. It's not really my vibe and I don't really like that. I think that's kind of creepy. I think it's weird. Maybe that was a past life of his. I don't know the guy, but um, that stuff's kind of weird, bro. Personally, that's what I think. Also, I've seen some Andrew Tate clips. Like recently, he did an interview and the interviewer asked him if he cried when he was in jail at all. And he said, I did not cry. Crying is like an act where you go to cry. He's like, I did have tears come down my face. It's like, bro, it's okay to be emotional as a man sometimes in certain situations, and it doesn't make you less of a man. And so what I worry about with some of his rhetoric is that men will think that it's not okay to be in touch with your emotions, to be emotional at all. When it is, it is totally okay. Now, your actions shouldn't be erratic or you shouldn't act on, you know, horrible emotions, stuff like that. But it's okay to cry as a man. It's totally okay. And a lot of his stuff that he says about women, now I know this isn't his intention because when you look deeper into it, he actually like, um, you know, says many things to the contrary, but a lot of the stuff that goes viral, if people just interpret that, it could lead them to hate women or dislike them or view women as all manipulative and bad. That's also wrong. There, yes, there are a lot of bad women out there who will try to manipulate you and take advantage of you. 100% you need to be aware of that, and I think that's why his content gets a lot of traction. However, there are also many good women out there who aren't constantly trying to play a manipulation game. So it's interesting stuff. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think.